Yeah, I carry it with me everywhere. It's uh, every time I go past something I wish I could share with her, I take a picture and send it to her and just tell her that I wish she was here or I really want to share this moment with you. The people around me, when, when I take pictures, yeah, I get re a lot of weird looks. Probably imagining, oh, look at that guy. He's in love. I thought he was joking. Like, I genuinely thought he was joking when he said that he was getting to know like this girl. And I was like, oh, where's she from? It's like, she's from Malaysia, because he was at Malaysia at the time. When I went to Malaysia, it was literally like he was attached to his mobile phone more than like being a tour guide to me. He was literally um, smitten, is what we say in English, that he was smitten over her. He's like head over heels. Mama datang London 1976. So, I datang sini, a year later, I dapat anak, ada four. Uh, this the youngest one. Biasalah karakter manja ni kan, kan? Anak papa betul lah, ya, Pak? Hmm, <laughs> We are very happy. Are we? <laughs> very. InsyaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, kita orang, kita orang happy. Papa is definitely a role model for me. They were born in Malaysia. And then moving here, moving to a country where you don't know the language and you have to learn. Think about how hard it is for them. And they've actually managed to do a good job of me and my brother. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's not easy, like, going to somewhere that you don't know and growing up there. I mean, they're at that age now where they haven't got that much time left. And I just want to give back in that short space of time everything that they've given back to me. Uh, the first time I met Atira was, uh, I was going to pick her up from the airport. I was like, oh, where is she? I was like, looking around. I didn't know where she was, and uh, there's so many people, but you clearly see her from a distance. And, and I was walking towards her, and I felt so nervous, and I was like, wow, but like, I don't, this is probably the one here. Don't mess this up. Adam texts me saying that he's going to go to Newcastle to, to see someone to potentially get married. After a while, I didn't hear from him for a few hours, and then he texts me later on going, like, I'm in Quattro Borough. And I was like, I thought you were going to Newcastle. And he was like, I am in Newcastle. He's like, no, Kortobara is Newcastle in Malaysia. And I'm like, so I didn't get it, essentially. Hari tu ada masa Adik tu mari sini dengan kawan dia tu, dia pun bagi tahu. Adik mak, mak Adik nak mari dia kata. Kalau memang tujuan nak mari nak tunai, teruslah kita buat tunai ke apa sebab jauh nak mari ke mari-mari tu susah kan. Memang macam rasa suka sangatlah bila dia bagi tahu macam tu. Sebab ada ada jejak ke nak kan kita, kita sukalah ada menantu dapat menantu. What is it about her? I think the way that she conducts herself with her family, that was the one for me. It's like, that's the sort of woman that I want to be married to and raise my kids with. So you think you're ready? Yeah, of course I am. I'm getting married. I'm going to go home. When you say home, where, where, where is that for you? Where is that? Uh, Dia rasa di sinilah rumah dia. Dia tak ada nampak lagi lah yang dia akan duduk balik Malaysia. Last week, saya tanya dia, kalau dia kahwin lah, dia nak duduk Malaysia ke, nak duduk sini? Macam mana duduk jauh-jauh? 
nak kerja hak tu kerja sini. Sore tu kerja London tu. Kau duduk London tu 10 minit sampai ada sini. Nak jaga anak orang ni bukan senang nak jaga anak orang jaga dia. Tak apa-apa mama, duk worry about that. The most important thing is one family agree. Ya. That's your choice kan. Nah, masa depan dia bukan kita. Dia kita nak dia happy je. I don't know what to expect. It's a little, little adventure every day. I mean, she's over there, I'm over here, and uh, we're just really looking forward to the time when we can be in the same place together at the same time. I don't want to lose touch of my culture. Growing up in a different country, being the minority, it's easy to let go of your identity, and she reminds me of my identity. I don't mind where I am. As long as I'm with Atira, she makes me feel that comfortable. No matter even if I'm not fixed in one place, she gives me that feeling that I'm at home. To our visitors, selamat datang to beautiful Malaysia. And to our Malaysians, welcome home. Kisah terbaik